everyone welcome back to the channel so i'm going to continue with part two of this one today by joanna basford in small victories so i've got bits all over my desk i've just been trying to make a bootmark that's not turning out so that was stressing me out and i thought i'm gonna come on and color instead <laughs> so we're gonna do all the leaves today so i've got two greens and two kind of brown tones because we're going to do um the different kind of leaves in different colors so you can see some of them are a bit more rounded that are going to be brown and the ones that are more pointy like this are going to be green so i'm going to bring the camera right down oh, as far as i can about it going blurry hopefully i might have to just move this it's so fussy this tripod i don't really like it anymore it gets in the way more than it does any good for me to be honest it does get in the way so yeah which should we start with I'm going to start with the green ones, I think. So the colour I'm going to go in with first is Leaf Green 112. And we're going to do these ones. So light layer again, all over the leaf. And then we're going to go in with this one, Deep Cobalt Green 158. And I'm going to start at the top here. I'm just going to bring the colour down gradually. So that we're keeping it lighter on the end and then I'm going to go back in with the leaf green. So I'll just pop that there. Back in with the leaf green to go over it all. So make sure we're going over the top bit and the bottom bit. Like that. Yeah, the bootmark I was trying to do, I was trying to um, sort of scan it into the computer and make this one into a bootmark. But for some reason, it was making all my florals blurry, like they're really sharp on this painting. And when I've printed them out, they've come out looking really washed out and really, I don't know why it's done that, but that's what it's come out like on the printer, which isn't good. Now, I've not had any problems um, turning all my other artwork into it, so I don't know why it's doing that suddenly, but yeah. So that can't be, that needs to be fixed or just um, wrote off as, a, as one that doesn't translate well as a bootmark. I don't know. I'm not good with technology, you see. That's the thing. Right, we're going to go in with the cobalt now. And then the leaf green so we're always using the same two greens on all these so i'm not going to keep repeating them like i did in my last video i don't think you'll just you'll know what colors i'm putting down won't you they're all they're all going to be the same so we're just going to work all these green leaves i think we'll do those ones as well those are quite pointy Just going on those ones. So yeah, I've had a stressful morning so I thought, oh, come on, do a bit of mindless colouring. Because it's all same same now, isn't it, for these little leaves. Mm -hmm. Come on and do a bit of mindless colouring, why not? Something making a rattling noise on my desk, it's quite irritating. I don't know whether the microphone will pick that up for you, but what is that? <laughs> it might be that bottle of water rubbing against that um, marker pen tub. Remove that, see if that helps. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. I think I've solved the problem. So I'm going to do these ones here for now, that one there. it's quite nice this green it's looking quite nice i was worried about my choice of green whether i picked the right one or not but i'm liking how it's leaking and then i think when we get 
those brown leaves in as well that's going to be really pretty that's going to add another colour into the mix and then all the little bits and bats that are left over these what you call them branches I think I'm going to do them with the gold posca maybe So I saw yesterday that Zoe from Addicted to Colouring, I'm sure it was Zoe, or was it not, was it Zoe, or was it Pickle, or it might have been Pickle, oh now I don't know, I apologise if I've got the name wrong now, I don't know which one of them it was, no I think it might have been Little Pickle's Colourful Life, is that a channel name, I'll just call her Pickle. <laughs> I think it might have been, yeah, I think it might have been Pickles. She posted um, a sneak peek from one of the Kirby pages from the new book that I'll be doing. So if you go on Amazon at the minute and type in Kirby Roseanne's, there's loads of books, but they're all compliment, compliments, <laughs> compilations. Um, there's a lot of co compilations, so be careful. The one that's going to be all new images is called... Um, Oh, what's it called? It's something Dark Fairy Tales or something like that. It's called Dark Fairy Tales, something along those lines. And that's the only one that's going to have all new illustrations in it. All the other books that are coming before it are like, they, they are, they're just compilation books. One of them is a 10 year anniversary book where, again, it's images that we've already seen before. So just be careful if you're on the hunt for his new one. It is called something like Dark Fairy Tales or sinister something why do i haven't got sinister in my head it's a word i don't know anyway but yeah she posted a sneak peek so he must he must have posted some little sneak peeks on his facebook or instagram somewhere i'm sure it was a horse as well i'm trying to think what fairy tale has a horse in it what dark fairy tale? And I can't think my mind's gone blank. There we go, what else should we do? We'll do these ones. These ones are more pointed and rounded, aren't they? I think them ones are the ones I'm gonna do brown where they are quite prominently round at the the biggest part of the leaf. And then after I've done this, I need to film my finished pages video that I've still not done. We're on the 1st of May today and I've not filmed it yet. Because <laughs> I'm too busy trying to get things done that I've started. But yeah. Well, I hope the police don't turn up at my door as well, or the ambulance. I literally, as I was putting my phone into the phone holder up here, it clicked on that thing on the phone, you know where you've got that? weird button on phones where you can it's just like one tap and it's like emergency sos or something it clicked on that when i put it in the phone holder and i'm sure it started ringing and i was like ah and panicked and like took my phone off the holder and then it stopped and i was like oh no <laughs> i hope they don't ring me back or something oh worse turn up at the door please no and then I'll have to do that guilty face where, oh, I clicked it by accident. I'm sorry. Oh. I've had to do that once when the, one of the kids got older, my phone, when they were a baby. Oh, gosh. It's so embarrassing, though, because you're like, <laughs> when they ring back and you're like, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, you know. And you can tell they're thinking, no, oh, don't let your kids get hold of your phone. These things happen, don't they? Right, let's get this in. Alright, where else? 
else do I want to be with this colour? Would you say they're the round ones in the centre? I would. Yeah, I think brown, they'd be nice brown because then we've got green on either side and brown in the middle. Yes, yeah, so we'll do these ones green. Here at the side. I'm trying to make it, you know, the same on both sides. So I'll have to carefully look at what I've done now on that side. <laughs> So you can tell there's not much, um, I'm not having to think too much about this. And I'm not doing too much shading and blending and faffing, to be honest. I'm not doing too much. Right, what have we done on this side? We've done those ones. I'm just going to base all the ones I can see that we've coloured on that side so it's the same. And then I'll go in and uh, shade them all. Just because I'm going to get confused <laughs> and end up colouring something I've not done on the other side. That one there, isn't it? We've got that one there. And then these two big ones up here. And then I did those ones. And that one is that one did i do any over here no i don't think i did did i and then i didn't do any of them so i think this is kind of what i've done on that side or oh, these two these two don't forget those two right now we'll go in and share them and then i'll have another check oh we want this one at the bottom as well <laughs> We want this one green at the bottom. Alright, there we go. There we go. I'm going to start at the top with this one. Leaf green. So has anyone been up to anything exciting? I always ask people that, even though I've never done anything exciting myself. <laughs> Probably very rarely done anything exciting. Let's get these ones. got a nice sunny day today it was nice and sunny yesterday as well so the kids are at school at the moment but once they've finished school when i pick them up we're gonna go on the little park that's opposite the school while we wait for one of my eldest daughters to finish her netball after school netball club so i'm gonna take some of them on the park while we wait for her to finish and then we're going to take them to mcdonald's as a treat today i think don't be judging <laughs> don't be judging all those health kip people they don't have it all the time can't afford it all the time cost an arm and a leg for five kids i won't be having anything because yeah i am eating healthily <laughs> So I think I'm going to have like a healthy style lasagna when I get in, I think maybe. You know what though, I always remember when I was little, they used to have, I've got her on a pitch, they used to have really good toys in McDonald's Happy Meals. They used to be amazing. <laughs> like, I don't know whether it's because I I was a kid and you think everything's amazing, but I'm sure they used to be so much better than they are now. Like, they really seem to be really rubbish now. Is that just me? I like, used to have so much good stuff in them. <laughs> I 
same with um it's the same with the kinder eggs um but i know you peeps in the usa they're banned aren't they in the usa i was shocked when i read about that i was like how can they be banned someone said it's because a child choked on the actual egg plastic egg bit in the middle but i don't understand how how can you even fit that how can that even get stuck there because it's to me it's too big <laughs> to do that with unless they've made them bigger over here for that reason but then you'd think if they had made them bigger so that they can't be choked on you'd think that um that they wouldn't be banned anymore in the usa but i don't know i don't know i was looking as well because at the minute i'm not posting out from my coffee shop to any other country it's just uk only because I don't know how it all works. Basically, I need some sort of special forms to ship anywhere else in the world. I have to have these special codes for every parcel I send out and I don't know how to do it. I don't know how it all works. Basically, I'm a bit terrified of getting in trouble <laughs> as well because I don't know what I'm doing properly. Um, but one of the things on there, because it lists stuff you can't send, um, and it had kinder eggs on there <laughs> i was like what so what would happen if i literally posted a kinder egg out to someone in the usa from here would i get like punished <laughs> what about all those people that send like stuff all the time like you know when they send english food over to americans to try on the channels because some, some Americans have them channels, don't they? Where it's like, trying English candies or trying British candies. And then they have like a PO box where you can send them stuff. What would happen if I sent a Kinder Egg? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But is anyone, is that actually happened? Has anyone actually sent any over there? <laughs> right. Have I not missed anything out here? I'm feeling like I might have missed something. I've not ever. So all the rest of this is going to be brown now, is it? I kind of want to do these little ones green. These little ones here on the edge. I kind of want green, I think. For the same with that little one there. And that one there. I'm just looking at it and trying to weigh it up and balance it all like. Right. some leaf green on the end <coughs> I'm not taking a Viva tablet I need to get one <laughs> alright I'll leave that green for now I'm just going to get a quick drink of my cup of tea lovely cup of tea I'm not a coffee drinker anymore I've gone off it I used to drink both like I, I like both and I used to drink both but now I've kind of gone off coffee a bit so I'm going to go in now with brown ochre 182 as my light layer on these leaves. I think it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth coffee. You feel like you need to clean your teeth straight after because it just leaves this, I don't know, like a horrific aftertaste. And then for the dark colour we're going to use Caput Mortem on this one, 169. So it's not the Caput Mortem Violet we used on this one, it's just Caput Mortem. And again, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to start at the top with the darker colour and just bring it down a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. I don't know whether I want to leave it like that or go back in with the brown ochre on the edge. I don't know what I want to do because I quite like the texture in the paleness. It's not even a word, is it? The way that it is kind of left a bit more textured and pale on the end. I'll leave it for now, see how I feel when I've coloured it all. If you want to blend it out, 
with a blender pencil you can do that don't mind me <laughs> don't mind me I'm very indecisive with some things I just I ponder I sit and ponder about things I'll say ponder because I can't say the other word you know the procrastinizing is that the right if I said that right actually procrastinizing is that right I struggle with that word, so I'll just say ponder. It means the same thing. Wednesday today, isn't it? Wednesday. Wednesday. So Thursday tomorrow, so that's my weigh-in day at my diet club. Yeah, slimming milk and then friday what am i doing friday why have i got friday in my head i don't know i've got that much things going on i kind of it gets to a day and i just have this feeling like i'm sure something's happening on this day or i'm sure i have to be somewhere on this day or i've got an appointment on this day or but i don't know what it is it's just my brain ticking over like <laughs> i'm sure there's something I should be doing but I have no clue what it is so like the other day the dentist rung me up and they said um oh the children are due for the checkup um what time days and times are best well they're not open on weekends so basically the only times they can do is straight after school you know so I'm not having to take them out of school so I said at 4 4 30 is probably a best time um and they said, oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But you might have to wait a bit longer for the appointment. That's all. But we can book it in. She said, um, and I think she said, is 2nd of June okay? I think she said 2nd of June. She said, is that okay? And I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> a million things will probably crop up before then. I'll probably end up cancelling. That's what happens. Because I know my daughter's on, because uh, she's in the last year of primary school now she's going on a residential trip in june but i don't know what date and now i'm thinking have i beat her in the dentist when she's on a residential <laughs> you know I, I can't i need a pa me decided i need a pa i need someone to keep me on track and uh take my kids to all the appointments for me <laughs> I still need to boot one of my daughters in for a eye test. She's due her annual eye exam and I've not booted that in yet. That's the thing, because I've because I'm short sighted, all my children have more of a chance of being short sighted or becoming short sighted. So two I have five children, two of them wear glasses. But surprisingly, and he even said it at the opticians, one of them's short sighted, one of my daughters. But the other one's long sighted and he said do you know that's really um strange when you're short sighted because normally they just get the short sightedness of the parent he said it's really strange that she's like long sighted i don't know if it is or if he's just saying that you know <laughs> is there any opticians out there you know but one of my daughters, she has quite a few problems with her eyes. She has um, something called corneal opacities, where they don't know what's caused it, basically, but it's scarring on the cornea. Now, they're saying it can happen because of severe dry eye. Like, when you have severe, severely dry eyes, they can scratch or rub, and it can cause this scarring on the eye. So she's, um, for life now, permanently, she's on eye drops, which um, we have to do four times a day um, for these corneal opacities. So I'm constantly, uh, well, I send, I send one of them into school. I filled in all the um, medical forms for school so that they can administer drops in school time because it wouldn't happen otherwise, like four times a day. <laughs> But yeah, that's to make sure that her eyes stay lubricated so that it prevents any more scarring because if the scarring gets worse, it can affect her eyesight and even like lead to blindness. But we're talking like, you know, 
probably when she's an old lady at that point but yeah it's a bit scary when they said that to me but just have to make sure her eyes aren't getting dried up and they said even like if she's been outside to play if there's any dust you know dust blowing around when it's windy or if she goes to the beach and there's sand blowing around we have to be really really careful because if she gets any of that in her eye it can scratch it even further so um i've said when i'm gonna beat this eye testing for her and i'm gonna order her as well as her regular glasses i'm gonna pay for her some um sunglasses this time that she can wear this summer because it also makes her very sensitive to sunlight that's one of the uh symptoms as well it makes her very sensitive to the sunlight so i've always thought i mean it still could be it could be a mix of the both but when we had this initial appointment um and the lady said that's why she's squinting i said oh i said oh no i said that's her autism i said she's sensitive to the light and this eye lady said no that's because of this the corneal opacities and i was like well i know that autistic children are sensitive to light and she's always done that before they even picked up on the corneal opacities so i think it's a bit of both i think it's a bit of both i'm not saying she's wrong i'm just saying i think it's it's both things but yeah but one of the eye drops because they give me two different types of eye drops one of them's just one you can get it over the counter but i have it prescribed because obviously it costs a lot of money for the amount she needs and for life <laughs> it's like a long-term condition uh but i think they sell them in the ch shop the one kind they're called high law they're called high law drops um so she has them ones during the day and then at night time she's supposed to have these um viscosity as they're called but i can't use them at all it's like it's called visco tears and it's a thick it's i mean it's so thick it's like a really thick gel now she told me the the eye doctor lady she said use this at night time you don't have to get it in the eye because i said there's no way of getting that in the eye it's not like a drop it doesn't just drop in it's like really thick stuff and she said no you, you get it to close her eye and just like put it over the top like on the lashes kind of thing so it'll naturally go in a little bit anyway and leave and keep it all moisturized around and i'm like but oh it's really horrible stuff i just don't really horrible it is and it doesn't seem to do anything <laughs> it just seems to make all around the eye greasy i don't know it's really strange stuff What's this little one here? Oh, I've done it brown on that side, so I have to do it brown. This one looked like it could have been a little green one, but let's do it brown. We've done the other side brown now. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I think I'll do that with gold because it kind of connects onto the. So we'll do it with the Posca. I like how this is leaking. I think the colours go really nice together i think browns go really well with pinks and pinky purple colors don't they really pretty and i'm not going to do any background in regards to this bit either <laughs> i'm not going to ruin it if you saw my last um color along where i attempted to do a background on the bird page yeah if in doubt, don't do you one. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It'll save you out there. I'm going to just have to turn you while I get a right angle on this because I'm not going to be able to colour it very well with eyes. I can hear a moon, it's a vehicle coming in the distance. So, if it does come this way, you may want to remove your earphones. I always warn people, I don't want you shooting me down like, oh my gosh, that's so loud. It's coming. It's coming. And I've got the window open as well, guys. I have. It's quite warm today. There we go. Bye bye, um, ambulance. Or oh, is it. I think it was a police car, that one actually. I think it was a police car. 
oh where was that it was somewhere in the uk and i, I can't remember which borough of the uk i think it was london was it london a man has had a machete and he's been on the rampage with this machete in the street just you know unprovoked attack kind of thing he doesn't know the people he's he's going after he's just you know and he's killed a 13 year old boy he's killed a 13 year old boy with a machete absolutely horrific it was on his way to school absolutely horrific i can't bear listening to the news when there's stuff like that on i just can't bear it because you just think of your own children your own kids especially and i've got kids that age you know i've got a girl who's 13 and i can't imagine i absolutely cannot imagine me thinking she's she's gone out to school and that happened it's unbearable absolutely unbearable and no details have been released as far as i'm aware yet as to you know whether he suffered with mental illness or whether it was just evil i don't know but something needs to change in this country regarding people with mental illnesses just not being checked up on properly or cured for properly or getting the help they need because innocent people are getting hurt because the people that need help aren't getting the help they need or you know it's just it's like a domino effect isn't it horrific horrific right let's lighten the mood <laughs> i just said what's in my head and I, I was watching that on the news last night so i was like oh. let's do a bit bit of shade in there like that a bit of the top a bit of the bottom and then we've got these two and these two it will do just there and then i'm just gonna do these ones that are coming off this flower here so just these ones and then that bit there i'll leave for the posca pen the bits around the edge There we go. Alright, I'm going to take a step back and look, see if there's anything I've missed. And there is. There is these teeny tiny ones here. Yes, there's one on that side. And um, there's obviously one on that side. Teeny tiny them ones. Oh, could barely get a bit of shading in there. <laughs> barely get a bit of shading. So let's take another look and check. Mm, I think I want to do those bits brown that are sort of hanging down here. I'm not sure what they are, but I do want to put the brown on those. I think so again. Add a bit of shading going down there. See, I'm on the other side. Where's it gone? <laughs> Take another step back and have a look. And I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think everything else I'm going to get my gold Posco on it on it yes so then you don't have to use a gold posca if you don't want to you can use a pencil block color of pencil to go around there a dark brown might be nice and stand out nice you can use your gel pens whatever you want to use but i'm going to use this gold posca pen i think i've linked these in the description they're the 0.7 mil bullet tip thing I'm just going to check it's coming out all right at the side of me. I've used a lot of this pen, so I won't be surprised if it runs out anytime soon. But hopefully not whilst I'm using it. So I'm going to go around all these little um, stalky bits. All of them are going to be gold. And anything coming off of them is going to be gold. So these little bits here. It's going to look so pretty. But I'm trying not to breathe at the same time because it's so thin. The little branch lines are so thin. <coughs> oh dear. 
what's my fella messaging me here? I have no idea. He's messaged me something. I don't think he's trying to ring me yet because he's not on his break. He'll have to wait. <laughs> In Amla rings, because I'm at home all day by myself and I'm bored. I always get him to ring me on his breaks. Well, I'm not bothered if he doesn't, but we like to have a little chat and catch up on his breaks. So he'll ring me about half past ten-ish normally in the morning. About 10 a.m. That's his morning break and then his lunch break. He'll normally ring me about half past twelve-ish. We'll have a chat. Or if I need anything from the shop, because he works right by the supermarket. If I need anything picking up, he'll say, do, I need, do you need me to pick anything up? And sometimes he'll walk to the uh, shop on his break. <laughs> Nine times out of ten when I go to the supermarket, I forget what I've gone in for. I get half of the stuff and then there's always something I've forgot. This as well. I'm going to do these little circles as well. This page is going to be one of them where I'm going to miss something. I'm going to <laughs> definitely miss colouring something on here, I can guarantee it. It'll be in the comment section later, like, you've missed a little bit over there. You've missed a little branch. A little line. I think a lot of you have done this page already, have you? How many people have already done this page? I think it was quite a popular one. I think it's quite a popular page, this one. So I'm going to continue on this side first. Make sure we've got everything on this side coloured, which I think we have. We've got all the floral little dot dots over there. Oh, my belly just did the biggest rumble. The biggest rumble. I don't know what I want for my breakfast slash lunch. So it'd be like brunch. What should I have today? Might have the rest of the turkey rashers. I, <laughs> I had a few out of the pack yesterday. I think I'll just finish the pack off today and then they don't go bad. small these lines I will put a bit of white gel pen detailing in as well a bit of dotting detail not too much she says not too much honest I always say not too much and then I go wild with the pen. With the white gel pen, I can't help it. I've got white gel pen issues. But I saw Johanna Basford using some pens, what look really juicy. And they do have a white in it. I forgot what they're called. I think she was using a gold version, like a gold pen version, but I noticed they have white, like white gel pens on. Amazon and I was like I'm gonna try one of those and then I forgot what it was what I was looking at so I'll have to go back on Johanna's page and stalk through it and <laughs> find this pen again so I can put it in my Amazon basket Done that one, done that one with just this one here. A little branch. No, let me scan this because if I've missed any, I'll be screaming. You'll be screaming at the screen, I'll be screaming later. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I've missed one here. See what I'm like? It's too busy for my eyes. 
my eyes like they don't know where to look. Have I missed any more? I don't think it has. I keep looking at this bit here, but it's not anything I should do gold. It's just that they're overlap. Things are overlapping down there, but I think that's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. You'll all be shouting at me if there's a bit I've not seen there, won't you? I'm gonna get my white gel pen now. I'm going to pop in some little dots on those little florals just to make sure they're popping out from the background colour even more. Be careful you don't put your hand in that Posca pen. Last thing you want to do is smudge that bad boy. But yeah, I'm just going to do some little... Little dotties. Because we like it. I'm sort of going down with the dots in the direction that the petals go in, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm just putting a few random ones in. No doubt I'll miss one of these flowers as well, so don't be screaming at me. <laughs> oh dear. My eyes just don't know where to look when there's a continuous pattern. They really don't. But see how that, just adding that little bit of white just makes it pop off the page. From this side, you can see that I'm not done to this side. It just kind of makes your eyes drawn into the florals a little bit more so I'm not gonna oh, I need to get this going again I'm not gonna put any of the dotting details on the leaves because I like the way that the eye is drawn to the florals if I put dotting details on the leaves then it'll make your eyes go a bit don't know where to look kind of thing again you got to think about where the eyes drawn or where you want the eye drawn drawn to Gosh, that's noisy, isn't it? Noisy motorbike. Hope my hand wasn't in the way then. Uh, which ones have we got? Oh, we've got a big one up here. Let's do a nice, nice one going down there. Is that a mall? Is that all the flowers? Let me scan it. Let me scan it. <laughs> I, I think it is. I think it is. I think, I think we're done here. Well, that was a nice little page to do. Oops, camera's falling. Excuse me. That was a nice little page to do. I really enjoyed that one, actually. I love how it's turned out as well. Love the colours on it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed colouring that one too. Please do hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.